Ready to fight. Ready. All right, early round action here, and how about the run that Jamal Sweet Dreams Hill has been on? Some people believe in terms of his overall striking, he's the best in the light heavyweight division right now. Certainly, he believes that confidence is high, and he believes in this matchup he should be able to showcase his hands yet again. Oh, that would hurt bad. There's that body shot. Right hand on the counter is true. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, massive kick. Everything behind it. Man, no feel that process whatsoever. These strikers are getting after it early. They don't like each other, and they are trying to get the opponent out of there right away. On point with that jab today. Well, every MMA fight begins on the feet, and that is music to the ears of Alex Pereira, who has found a home for that left hook early. I mean, that's his best shot, man. We have seen Alex Pereira land this left hook in kickboxing to finish Israel Adesanya, and also inside the octagon where he knocked out Sean Strickland. It is such a powerful strike, and Pereira is a master of it. Nice kick there by Pereira. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Pereira is now dealing with a cheat cut. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tough, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Just over there. Serious swelling in and around that left eye. It's starting to close up now. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Going to the body now with that hook. Well placed there by Pereira. Well, he is a true fight finisher, and Alex Pereira has really managed risk well tonight. Not necessarily going for the kill shot. We'll see if it materializes here late in the round. Well, I think it speaks to his evolution of an MMA fighter. He's not just a striker anymore. He's an MMA striker, recognizing that the gloves are smaller. So he's got to take his time in his approach. He cannot just hunt you down anymore. So that makes him more accurate. That makes him more focused defensively. He has looked amazing tonight. And that's kind of what we expect now from Alex Pereira. Oh, Second no. round, straight ahead. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, so there's the horn signifying. Ready to fight. Ready. Let's Here we are, early round two. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice job there to minimize damage. Well, the most significant stat in this fight, and you can see it right there in plain sight, bottom of your screen, the body strikes. His opponent has had absolutely no answer. He hasn't lowered his guard with the elbow whatsoever, and I'm not sure how many strikes to the body he can take before he ends up crippling here. We'll see. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his more tight You know why changes? It's work. Oh! Oh, you got to start to look to finish him now. They're going at it now. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. You he heard him again. He's getting lit up right now, John. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him.
Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Well, we talk so much ad nauseum about this trend of leg kicks in MMA, but oftentimes only a few can cause real visceral damage, and now you see the limp. Yeah, you're starting to see him limping from the damage from the kicks. This guy did not address those kicks early, and now he's paying for it. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting them. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's trying to recover, but he's in a lot of trouble. Looks a little bit concerned, perhaps because of that cut on the lip that was open. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. Do you believe it? This next round is underway. In the previous round, both fighters got rocked. Crowd going bananas. Big opportunity for both fighters. These are the types of fights that makes it so fun to sit right next to the octagon and call the action. Oh, pinpoint strike lands there and not going to help the swelling upstairs. I love this accuracy, this ability to get his shots to the target right away. And you see it in the swelling that is forming on his opponent's face. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Just a slip there. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Oh, man, how many shots to the head can one individual take? I'm not a doctor, but that swelling suggests there might be some sort of crash. Yeah, there might be something wrong with him. He's so swollen, he's so beat up, but he's so tough. That is why he's still standing. Normal people could not still be standing in the middle of an octagon fighting right now. Hats off to him for his toughness, but he ain't going to get the job done tonight. He did not address it early enough. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? You got to go to the main deal. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he might get finished here. Cable. 